Hello, this is Chris Menard. This is part two of three of Get and Transform Data in Microsoft Excel, also known as how to unpivot columns. Part one I did a couple days ago. If you notice, I have 12 months running from column B to column M, and the issue is I can't sort, filter, subtotal, create pivot tables. Now today, but I only had one header row. So today I'm going to do two header rows, which is really bad. I've got the East region and I have the West region. Quarters one through four for both regions. So when I'm done, I should end up with four columns. The car manufacturers in column A. East and West region should be in a column. Quarters one through four should be in the third column. And the fourth column that I see is the actual values right there in the number. And if I highlight those, 32. So I should end up with 32 rows. So here we go. Before I do the unpivot column using the Power Query Editor, I want to make sure you know what a transpose is. So here's a short, easy example. I highlighted this data and copied it. I decide I want quarter one, two, three, and four to run down instead of across. Right click and instead of paste, I'm going to do a transpose, click it once, and there I go. It's the same data, but I transposed it. The reason I wanted to show you that is I'm going to have to do that in the Power Query Editor. So here we go. The Data tab, Get and Transform Data Group from table range. I'm going to go ahead and make the table myself. So I'm going to select A1 down to the last number, control T. I just want to make sure that I do not have a header row for this example. When I click OK, I should see four quarters twice plus the car manufacturers. That should get nine columns. And I did. And I don't have a header row, that's why it's column one, two, three, four. Still on the data tab, now we can do from table range. And it's going to pull up the Power Query Editor. Perfect. Over to the right, if you recall from the other day, there are the steps we're going to run through because right now it's only got two. So as I run through here, they'll continue to be added on. If you make a mistake, you delete the step because there is no undo. So here's the first thing I need to fix. I know I don't want any blanks, especially with the word east. It says null next to it, and then column four has null, and column five has null. Then we get the same thing with the word west. It needs to go east, 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 then west. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Transform tab and I'm going to go ahead and transpose this data with the Power Query Editor. So if it works correctly, over in the first column should now be my regions. Perfect. The reason I did that is I can now right click Column 1, Fill, Down. So now I've got my regions in there. I'm going to get rid of that null in just a second. Next to it is auto, but there are the quarters. And then here's Ford through Nissan. So the next step I'm going to do is instead of column one, two, three, four, right here is Ford, Toyota, Kia, Nissan. I'm going to tell the Power Query Editor use the first row as headers. There I go. So this is looking really good, and I've got one, two, three, meaning those are numbers. ABC is text. I need to do a little bit of renaming. The other day I showed you, you can right click. You can just also double click. So that is region, quarters. Last step, this is where I should get 32 rows. I need to unpivot Ford through Nissan, so I've selected Ford. The shift key, I click Nissan, right click, and there is unpivot columns. 
This is what should give me the 32 rows in the bottom left corner. Perfect. Value. Um, double click and rename that one. Attribute. Double right click and rename that one. I'm going to do a little abbreviating. Everything looks great. Final step. Home tab. Close and load. Close and load two. It's going to ask me how I want to do this. I'm going to pick a table and I'm also going to say new worksheet, which is the default. Table, new worksheet. Click OK. I've got three worksheets at the bottom. Now I'll have four. And now I can sort, filter, do pivot tables, whatever I want to do. So there is part two of three of Git and Transform Data. This one had two header rows to begin with, east and the quarters. And by the way, I just would check one thing. Ford, 51, 60, 71, and 74. Ford, let's do a sort here. A to Z, 51, 60, 71, and 54. Then I should have a 58 twice, a 68, and a 72, 58 twice. 68 and 72. So just a quick check. Make sure it worked. It did. Now I'm in business. I appreciate your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll have Get and Transform Part 3 of 3. That will be on 926, maybe 927 of 2019. Have a great week.